The rumours have been around for some time, but somehow nobody expected them to be true. Ince has become an integral part of United's success in recent years. The engine room, the governor, the power in midfield that's fired so much of what's been so good at Old Trafford for so long. Having said that, the emergence and development of Nicky Butt has made an instant replacement available. Butt's aggression and tackling ability has already earmarked him as a governor of the future. The great thing about football, you know, it's, it's a marvellous game in this respect. Not a, 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 it's not a nice one for an experienced player. I'm not talking about Paul Inns in particular, I'm talking about football in general. But you have a, a really established players and they've been great players, but a young boy turns a corner. You know, that's football. And this club is famous for that, you know, bringing young players through. Ince was just 21 when he left West Ham for United, a precocious talent with a fiery temper, a temper that he learned to control as he grew in stature in the United team. But his game was much more than just pure aggression. He defended, he attacked, and he came up with spectacular moments just when they were needed. He's sharp, getting onto his left foot, he can hit them from here. That was so clever from Ince. Nothing looked on until his bicycle kick. United fans everywhere will acknowledge the part Paul Ince has played in the championship successes. A natural winner and a natural leader. A captain of Manchester United and England. No bigger honours in the game. It's a sight United fans don't really want to see, but here's Paul in action for his new club Inter Milan in great form too. To Ince, thanks for the memories.